Hey what's up YouTube, Custom PC Review here and today I'm going to be doing another video tutorial on the overclocking of the Z68A GD65 with the i7-2600K. So uh, I got a chance to play with this. Um, this is the new G3 chipset for the Z68A GD65 and it has the Click BIOS 2. So right now I'm just running through a couple things in Click BIOS 2 to give you a quick tour before I get into the overclocking. And I already have it overclocked so all the settings will be there but I just want to show you um, and explain a little things uh, while I do it. So there's the energy saving menu and browser. Whoa, okay. And, uh, utilities and I don't know what this HDD backup is and security all right so let's start the overclocking first uh, take a look at all these settings right here first thing you want to do is uh, well for me I typically enable XMP and uh, disable spread spectrum I typically do the uh, CPU PLL voltage at 1.65 volts, but you're welcome to leave it on auto. And for all other settings uh, regarding with voltage, I typically just leave it on auto. Okay, here you want to enable hyperthreading if you have a 2600K, otherwise 2500K, don't worry about it. Enable execute disable bit. And uh, virtualization tech if you want. I like to do power efficiency, so if you want to do that. Now this part's important. Disable overspeed protection. Long duration, short duration power limit, set them to 200. And uh, set your 1 core, 2 core, 3 core, 4 core ratio limits to 45. Exit out. Uh, oh, this is interesting. There's the uh, you can change the boot order if you want right there on screen. But exit out, save all that beautiful stuff, and wait for it to boot. So now that the computer's booted up, the first thing I'm going to do is fire up CPU-Z and it should be running at about 1.6 GHz because the way I overclock it is to use the turbo boost. And no, it's running at 4.5, so... Okay, it looks like Apple, Apple Mobile Device Service is causing some problems and I, I've been having a lot of problems, so... If anybody knows why Apple Mobile device is constantly taking up 12 or 13 percent of system memory or system uh, CPU, please let me know so I can fix that because I haven't found a fix for it yet, or at least I haven't tried. So now I started up Prime 95 and in small FFT mode, and you should see the CPU currently running at 4.5 gigahertz. I do apologize. It, the white background is very hard to see on the video, but from my angle, it is running at slightly below 4.5 GHz because the base clock isn't exactly 100 MHz. Okay, so if anyone does try this, please be sure to leave a comment below letting us know how it went, and um, make sure to subscribe for more videos.